I'm going to figure out what's sine, cos, and 10 for any angle. When we're doing sine, cosine, and 10 of an angle inside the first quadrant, what is it equal to? So we're thinking, we've got an angle theta in standard position, right? And you've got a point x, y here. Now remember, whatever theta is, the x coordinate is always cos theta, and the y coordinate is always sine theta. So remember, theta dash is always the acute reference angle, and it's always made to the horizontal. So here, the acute reference angle is going to be theta dash. That's going to be the second quadrant, by the way. But here we go. In the first quadrant, remember sine theta is equal to the y coordinate. And here the y coordinate is positive. So to do sine of an angle in the first quadrant, theta and theta dash are going to be the same. Okay, and it's going to be something positive. Okay, cosine in the first quadrant is just the same as cos of the acute reference angle. And cosine in the first quadrant is always the x coordinate, and the x coordinate is positive. And tan theta in the first quadrant is always the y divided by the x. So it's going to be y divided by x, which are both positive. So a positive divided by a positive is going to be positive. This is probably freaking you out. Don't worry. Uh, what you have to remember in the very end is going to be very simple. And when we do examples, you're going to see exactly what you have to be able to do. Second quadrant, here we go, look at this diagram here. What's sine of an angle in the second quadrant? Well, sine is always the y coordinate, and in the second quadrant, the y coordinate's positive. So it's plus sine of the reference angle. And this is going to be a positive value. So all you have to think of is sine, cosine, and 10, they're just going to be equal to the same ratio with a reference angle with a plus or a minus at the front. And that's all you've got to figure out. Cos in the second quadrant, however, Cos is always the x coordinate, but the x coordinate in the second quadrant is negative. So this is negative cos theta dash, and we're going to get a negative value. And tan is always y over x. Now y over x, we've got one positive, one negative. If I, if I divide this two, I'm going to get something negative. So you'll notice here, in the second quadrant, only the sine is the positive ratio. In the third quadrant, x and y are both negative, aren't they? Sine is always the y coordinate. Y coordinate is negative, negative sine. Theta dash, so that's something negative. Cosine is always the x coordinate, which is negative. And tan is y divided by x. If they're both negative and we do y divided by x, we're going to end up with something positive. So tan is positive in the third quadrant, and the other two are negative. Over here in the fourth quadrant, we have x values are positive, but the y values are negative anywhere along here. So sine is always the y coordinate, and the y coordinate is negative over here. Cosine is always the x coordinate, and the x values are positive in the fourth quadrant, so that's positive cos theta dash. And tan theta is y divided by x, and we've got one positive, one negative, so if I divide them, I'm going to get a negative value. All right, so that's pretty scary, but what do we have to remember? Well, remember this. In the first quadrant, it's just Sokotoa, and the values are always going to be positive. So in the first quadrant, sine, cosine, and tan are all positive. Okay, so just remember A all. First quadrant, they are all positive. What about the second quadrant? Sine's positive, but the other two are negative. So in the second quadrant, only sine is positive. Sine is positive, but the other two are negative. Okay, so you figure out what the reference angle is, then you figure out if it's plus or minus, and then you evaluate it. Third quadrant, look, tan's positive, but the other two are negative. So all you have to remember for the third quadrant is, if it's a tan, it's going to be positive, but sine and cos are going to be negative. And look at the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive cosine positive and the other two are negative. So this is what you have to remember. Uh, if you do sine, cosine and tan, it's going to be equal to sine, cosine and tan of the acute reference angle with a plus or minus at the front and that's what you've got to figure out. And to figure that out, all you need to remember is ASTC. Uh, if you're riding on a train and they say all stations to the final stop or all stations to central, that's quite a common way to remember it. ASTC, all stations to central.